What's up, my Power Platform people? It's April here, and I'm back at you with another episode of Copilot Chronicles. In this episode, we're going to be tackling prompt catalogs and the importance of them when using generative AI in Copilot. So come with me as we uncover how prompt catalogs can help supercharge your AI experience. So what are prompt catalogs? We can think of them as your personal AI guidebook. There's something that we can build or use an existing product that's already out there to be able to help input common prompts that we use so that we can better communicate with our AI tools, whether it be in the Power Platform or other tools that we're using. So why exactly is this important though? Well, we've all been there where we're trying to figure out how to get exactly what we need from the generative AI tool or co-pilot tool of our choice. Generative AI tools have endless possibilities, but that can be daunting. Endless possibilities means you can put endless inputs in, and how do you make sure that you're getting the right input to get the right outcome? Prompt catalogs can really be our lifeline here to make sure that our interactions with these generative AI and co-pilot tools are much more intuitive and easy. Because at the end of the day, Copilot and generative AI are just other tools that we add into our technical tool belt. So similar to how we're using Excel already or Power Apps, and maybe we're curating a bunch of formulas that we use time and time again to solve different things. And maybe we save those formulas in a OneNote or wherever we save those for easy safekeeping. We'll want to start doing the same thing for the prompts that we start to write and collect to use in these AI tools so that we can easily use those again when we need to and share those with our colleagues and our friends so that they can benefit from the prompts that we've tested and tried and know work. A prompt catalog is just a tool to give you a way to save your most commonly used prompts and share those. There's multiple ways to build a prompt catalog, but let me show you a couple different ways that you could tackle this. One way to create a prompt catalog is to leverage GitHub in open source. We actually have a Power Platform prompt repository on GitHub if you go to aka.ms forward slash Power Platform prompts. This gives you a way to not only share your most commonly used prompts across the different co-pilots inside the Power Platform, but also see what other people have submitted. So you can copy and paste those into the co-pilot of your choice. If we click this GitHub button on the top right-hand corner, we'll see in the back end it's all stored in GitHub in README files. So I can go into the prompt folder, and then I see different prompts here for the various Power Platform products. So if I want some ideas of some prompts that I could use inside a Power Automate co-pilot, I can click in the Power Automate folder, and these are all the different prompts that have been submitted so far. So say I want to be able to distribute my attachments in Outlook. I can look at that, go into the language file, and click on the prompt readme. And here's an example of a prompt that you can copy and paste in the Power Automate Copilot, which was submitted by one of our community members that lets you extract attachments from Outlook. If I want to use this, I could simply copy this text and paste that into our Copilot box and click Generate. And now it suggests the flow based off of that prompt that we have from the GitHub prompt repository. This is just one way to build a prompt catalog, but it's not the only way. If you want to build something maybe more for personal use or for use inside of your organization, we could leverage the Power Platform and Power Apps specifically to build your own prompt catalog. I've actually built a prompt manager template inside of Power Apps specifically for this. And I built this partially using Power Apps Copilot. The look and feel here looks very familiar to what we get when we build an app with Copilot in Power Apps. I started with that and just did a few little tweaks. This is a great example of a prompt catalog in action. So here I have different categories for the types of prompts that we might have. So they might be marketing related prompts, IT related, and I can click and filter the prompts that show. We also have a tab here for products where we can filter to find specific prompts for the product that we're wanting to use. So if I want to see Power Pages Copilot prompts, Power Apps prompts, I can filter that as well. And you can build in things in the app to make it even easier to use the prompts that you're curating. One prompt that I use quite a bit is regex. I never remember how to write regex for different things. So we can actually have generative AI do that for us with this prompt. I built in a function inside of the Power App where I can do an easy copy and paste. So I don't have to select all of this and do a control C to copy it. I can just click this copy button, which uses the copy function in Power Apps and makes that available in my clipboard. Then I can go into say AI Builder in the create text with GPT model and I'll paste this prompt here and give it a test. And there you go, it's generated the regex for me. 
Another thing that's really helpful with prompt catalogs is to give it personalization. So if you're using this for your organization, you might want to be able to give each user the ability to curate a list of their favorite prompts. So that's the other button that you'll see here. If I click on one of these prompts, like the Power FX interpreter, we have this bookmark button. So that gives me a way to bookmark this as a prompt that I use frequently or want to save, just like we'd bookmark a website that we want to save for later. And now if we go over to my profile, we'll see all of my favorite prompts. So I don't have to search through a laundry list of prompts that we might have there in our prompt catalog and just see the ones that I personally am most interested in. So at the end of the day, these prompt catalogs can really shape how you interact with generative AI. They allow you to streamline your experiences and give you a place to save the prompts that you're curating, see prompts that others have tested and know work, and start interacting and getting what you need out of your AI tools faster. So that's wrapped on prompt catalogs. If you want to try them out, you can contribute to our GitHub repo and see the samples that we have out there. You can download the sample application, which I'll include a link to in the video, or try creating your own with Power Apps and see what you can do there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Copilot Chronicles.